I'm Athena and this is my partner, Harvey. We've been sharing many adventures together over the years, from camping and climbing to hiking and van life. Last year, we embarked on our biggest adventure yet. This is our little girl, Aoife. And not forgetting Oslo, of course. Join us as we navigate family life with our love of the outdoors and adventure. After our time in San Marino, we headed to another Italian region, Emilia Romagna. Here we would be exploring a very off the beaten track area, surrounded by ancient forest. So we've had a bit of a spontaneous change of plans today. Uh, we were on our way up to a village called San Benedetto in Alpe, which is in the National Park, and we'd planned to go for a walk this afternoon, um, but we decided to stop at the accommodation that we're staying in, which is like only 15 minutes away, and we've kind of got stuck here, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, the lady who In owns, a good way. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the lady who owns the place uh, has just been like super warm, uh, loves Aoife <laughs> and uh, so we kind of just been chatting to her yeah and we're gonna do tr some truffle hunting yeah with her son. yeah her son does truffle hunting and she's like oh there's a tour like you can go this afternoon at 3 30 so we were like okay that sounds really good like if, if that's if we can do that today and then we can do the walk tomorrow or yeah 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 because we're staying an extra couple of days um and, and also, that sounds like, great this place is <laughs> really lovely like mm -hmm. old very traditional and uh, I don't know, I'm really curious about this place, so it's quite nice to just hang out here and take yeah. it in a bit. And Just, uh, yeah. it's nice to be spontaneous and um, flexible while travelling, so yeah, yeah it seemed like a good good always. change of plan. So we're just having a little wander around. Um, it's called, where we're staying is called Portico di Romagna, which means kind of like the entrance way to the Emilia Romagna the region. The gateway, that's the word. The gateway. Yeah. And we're staying in Al Vecchio Convento, which is the old convent. And it's a really nice village and really nice, quiet. Yeah, we're probably yeah. being really loud and <laughs> walking, <laughs> yeah. walking around this uh, village Who are these vlogging. English? Who are these English <laughs> bloggers, vloggers, yelling <laughs> down our streets. Ooh. It's nice, Aoife. Hi. It's got that uh, Alpine village kind of style going on where everything's kind of stacked up on top of each other, right down next to the river. Mm. Really nice, isn't it? Play the piano. Eh. Hey. <laughs> Un quartino? 
We had the most delicious lunch here at Al Vecchio Convento. It was kind of amazing, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, like really simple but incredible. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those places where they're like, where the, um, I think her name is Marina, the lady who um, like greeted us and owns this place. And she was just like, do you want this? Do you want this? Like, do you want pasta? Do you want this? And we were just like, yeah, I just kind of said yes to everything. It's one of the places where they kind of have a set menu, so they just make different things on each day, and it's super fresh, super delicious. Mm. Yeah. The, the steak. The oh meat yeah, the this was just unreal. Yeah, and we had fried mushrooms. I didn't actually. Oh no, did I film it? Yeah, I know I did film some of it, so yeah. I'll put some clips in so you can see. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, they've got a Michelin star, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. So now we are actually going truffle hunting uh, yeah. with the chef here. We're taking the snuffle tape. And it will be in the woods, I think, so it'll be nice and shaded. And then we might go for a swim in the river after yes. as well. That's a definite. <laughs> I'm Matteo. I am a chef and a truffle hunter with my dogs. I have 10 Lagotto Romagnolo. So we do truffle hunting uh, almost all the year round for white and black truffle and we prepare and uh, cook the truffle in our restaurant in the hotel as well. We have a small reserve where we go truffle hunting and so and we take the people to do experience like to do the hair hunt. Truffle hunting was a really great experience to understand more about the flora and fauna in this area, as well as just being really fun and very unique. Matteo brought his two Lagotto Romagnolo dogs that are trained to find truffles. One of them was very experienced and the other was in training. Can you guess which is which? <laughs> It was incredible the way they could sniff out truffles and then dig them up for Matteo to find. Matteo uses the truffles to cook in his restaurant at the hotel, but many truffle hunters in Italy will sell their truffles for a lot of money, particularly the white truffle that you find in autumn. So this is the local volcano. It's actually natural gas coming out of the ground. I've never seen anything like this before. It's really cool, actually. And um, yeah, it was first recorded in the 15th century. Um, yeah, really interesting place. It's not touristy at all. We've just been brought up here by um, the chef at the hotel. So yeah, pretty cool. Again, so we're just heading up the river. I've managed to coax everyone out to go for a swim. Uh, Maybe. It's kind of, yeah, well, see how it is. Yeah. Uh, it might be freezing cold, but <laughs> there's only one way to find out, I think. Uh, but also, it's such a nice evening, and like we're really, really enjoying this area that we've just come to. Uh, so, yeah, make the most of it while we're here, I think. It's not even that cold, but I just didn't really fancy going in today. Is it? Have you just said it's quite deep? Um, yeah, it's a really cute little spot. You might come back in the next couple of days when it's sunny. Um, yeah, Ifra even had a little paddle, which is really sweet in the shallows here. <sighs>
decaf cappuccino. This is like the best breakfast ever. Yeah. It's just like so much like local and fresh produce and cake and cheese and meats and just everything. This is mm. like un unreal. This one's like the Bible of Italian food. Il cucchiaio d'argento, the silver spoon. Yeah. Good morning. Harvey's just attacking Aoife with the sun cream, so if you can hear squeals behind me, don't be too alarmed. I think, I think I'm done, I think I'm done. Yeah, she's fine. Um, so we went for breakfast this morning, woke up at Al Vecchio Convento, went for breakfast, which was amazing. Probably one of the best hotel uh, breakfasts that I've ever had. Do you agree? I do. It was like homemade bread and homemade cakes, like cereals, uh, meat, cheese, eggs, eggs, cheese, local honey. It was just, yeah, incredible. Um, and they very kindly let us make sandwiches for our lunch as well, which is so nice because yeah, some places like are not really keen on that. And they also gave us loads of recommendations for what to do today because we were gonna go walk to the waterfall today, but the weather's a little bit more unsettled. It's actually given possibly some storms later. So we're like, oh, let's not do a nine kilometer hike when we're not exactly sure what the weather's gonna do. Yeah, we've got time, so we'll just yeah, stay yeah. localish. Um, you're gonna maybe do a pasta course? Oh yeah, I'm gonna do a cooking course later at here. Um, at the Vecchio Convento because they do that. Um, I'm really excited. And they just said, oh, we've got a cooking course this evening at five. Um, you can make homemade pasta. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that will be really exciting. Yeah. <laughs> driven up the mountain uh, to this trattoria which uh, looked quite nice when we saw it on Google Maps um, it was literally 10 kilometers 10 kilometers was it up the mountain it was a fair ways up <laughs> so hopefully the food's good <laughs> I felt heaven in my world collide you took this wounded heart of mine put it back together So we just had our lunch at La Trattoria del Cervo, uh, which is just up from Premil Cuore. Um, and it was delicious, really good food, definitely worth the drive up the mountain and the view up here is incredible as well. Um, so I think we're gonna go find somewhere to have a walk now, not sure exactly where, but there's so many walks and like places to visit around here. So we might go like down to the river or something and see a waterfall. Um, yeah, we'll see what we get up to. Actually, the weather started to turn quite quickly, so we decided to head back to the hotel. Driving these windy mountain roads with switchbacks are plenty and spectacular views. And 
then I got to learn how to make traditional ravioli and tagliatelle by the masters themselves, both the pasta chef and local friend of the family who really knew their stuff. Again, the warmth and fun that was felt by all was so genuine and it was so great to finally learn a skill I've been hoping to learn for a long time now. How uh, was your pasta making class? It was really good. It was really fun. It's something I've always wanted to do. Um, I have actually made homemade pasta before, but to actually learn how to do it in Italy was really special and like get all the techniques and everything. So I definitely want to make ravioli at home sometime. Um, yeah, it was, it was amazing really. Yeah. Yes, Good morning! So today is our last day in Italy and we are going to head up to... The <laughs> <laughs> We're heading to the Aquaquetta waterfall. Um, we've set off from San Benedetto in Alpe and we're in the Foreste Casentinesi National Park um, where it. we've been for the now. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, we've been here for the last few days. So yeah, we're doing this like, it's, it's a pretty famous walk. Um, it's quite popular though it's a Friday and there's basically no one here. <laughs> yeah, it's so, a really quiet time. Yeah. Um, for this area at the moment I think in you know July August it gets a lot busier but yeah now it's just it just it's a very Peaceful. unvisited area and yeah. we feel very lucky to have come across this place yeah um, yeah yeah so yeah we're just gonna head up to the waterfall today it's like a 9k uh, there 9k in total four and a half k there four and a half k back yeah um, there's an Aoife, in case you're wondering where she is. Yep. <laughs> She's raring to go. So there are actually wolves in this area and um, Matteo from Albecchio Convento where we're staying actually saw one the other morning just I think he said it was seven o'clock in the morning he was going for a run it was just in the field he just saw it. It's kind of amazing that wolves have found their way back into this landscape. Because they were cold in 18, the 1800s or were they cold or did they just disappear? I think they basically through cultivation and hunting okay. they yeah. they were they weren't in this area anymore uh, now, in the 1800s and they yeah they have yeah. come back along with wild boar um, so there's uh, there's wild boar there's roe deer there's red deer there's wolves uh, I saw a skunk this morning no a porcupine. I saw oh, a porcupine this morning, cool. which was amazing actually. <laughs> uh, along with roe deer, loads of hares, uh, and a badger. Uh, so yeah, this this whole landscape is like really bountiful. Uh, you look in the rivers, and you just there's tons of fish along yeah. the coastline. There was like loads of mackerel where we were swimming, and um, it's just really nice to see actually. And obviously we went truffle hunting. There's mushrooms galore. There's 36 herbs in this area which you are edible. And then there's a huge variety of nut trees. So there's walnuts, there's hazelnuts, there's sweet chestnut, and all of these have been cultivated over the years. Some of the largest stands of trees in the area are chestnut, where they were cultivated and harvested. Um, so yeah, it's just, this landscape gives back, which is amazing to see. Oh, nice. That's just a beautiful little boffy. Look fireplace. Oh, cute. 
Oh, it's really nice. It's it smells day. like someone's had the fire going recently. Yeah. Yeah, it just reminds me of the these uh, like little mountain huts you get in New Zealand. They're just the you know, like old uh, miners' huts or farmers' shacks, just right out in the outback, and they're just really simple. Just a big fireplace, a few bits and pieces. I used to go to one and I had a uh, cast iron waffle maker. Oh, so nice! So you go out there and just make, uh, just eat, pick loads of strawberries or blackberries, and make and blueberries and make um, loads of waffles on the fire. It's amazing. Just stay out there for the weekend. Made it up to the Wasp Bowl. Actually, this isn't the Aqua Ketta. The Aqua Ketta was the other one, um, which was the really big one. This is, I think it's called Levane. Levane? I'll put the name on the screen. Um, but yeah, just having a little sit down and yeah, it's been a really lovely walk over here actually. It would, it, I wouldn't describe it as strenuous. It was quite straightforward, just kind of rolling up and down um, through the forest. It's really nice and yeah, and I'm going to yeah, walk the same way back. Yeah, it's some really beautiful sort of old beach forest as well. Yeah. Lovely. Harvey really wants to learn Italian. <laughs> so I've just taught him something. What did I teach you, Harvey? La tua mamma è bellissima. La tua mamma. La tua mamma è bellissima. È bellissima. Boom 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 Just went for a swim um, down at the Roman Bridge at Bocconi, which is the next village along from where we're staying. Um, and now we're gonna head back. It's like five-ish, I think. Yeah, yeah it's five. Right. It's our last evening, isn't it? Yeah, but the sun's shining and it's a beautiful evening. Yeah, it's sad to be leaving, aren't we? Yeah, really sad to be leaving. It's such a beautiful place. I feel like we only just touched the surface of what you can do here. There's just so many hiking trails, cycling trails, beautiful forest and... Wilderness. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> we'll have to come back, won't we? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we were saying it would be really cool to come back when Aoife's a little bit older, spend a few weeks at um, Al Vecchio Convento so that she can learn Italian. So I think it would just be an amazing place because um, everyone's just so warm and friendly and like, yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, really lovely people. Yeah. 
but yeah we're gonna head back now and get some up for dinner at some point and yeah, yeah and enjoy some, our final evening try and get some pizza we haven't yeah had pizza we haven't yet, had have pizza we? for a week <laughs> which is crazy we've had a lot of pasta though so yeah yeah well <laughs> when in rome yeah <laughs> Our time in Italy had finally come to an end, and we really felt so lucky to have visited this unique and timeless corner of the country. The warmth of the people, the delicious food, the forested mountains, crystal waterfalls, and abundance of nature thriving. This would have been a landscape our ancestors reveled in finding and calling home. The Italian word and feeling we took away with us was tranquillo. We both felt deeply nourished by our time here we will most certainly return.